Ready? Be be begin. What up, what up, y'all? This is Experienced RC, and today I'm gonna show you how to waterproof your Mambo Max system. I mean, yeah, without voiding your warranty, man. Shit. I know all you motherfuckers be doing this shit, trying to waterproof your shit. I saw a bunch of people, like Squirrel Rod on YouTube, man. He was spraying the shit out of this bitch with that freaking plasti dip, man. Who the hell's gonna wanna work on that bastard shit when you fry your ESC from jumping into the water because your plasti dip had a hole in it because you didn't spread it out good, huh? You tell me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, I already got started on this shit because I'm flying like that. Look at this. That's what it is. You know what that is? That's right. It's the top of a Tic Tac container. Shit. Look at that, man. Covering the capacitor. No water's going to be getting that shit after I cover that bitch up. You know that shit, right? Yo, this shit got it for a good deal. I mean... I bought it from one of my homeboys, and I mean, look at that, beautiful. I don't know if you can read that, that's his castle. Experienced RC has stepped that shit up, I mean, I've been running this a few times, good gearing, even in high grass it doesn't get hot, I'm a pro like that man, I know how to test all that shit, yo, you know, tire weight, diameter, you know, conditions I'll be running in all that shit man anyways let's get to it alright like I said for the first step I took off the top of a tic tac container and I put it on the capacitors that's an easy fit I mean it's perfect works like a charm man I'm so damn creative man shit I always get this shit on the first try no take twos, man. For real. Same thing when I step up in the booth, man. Anyways, see, this is your circuit board, right? Everything around here. You do not want any kind of water touching that bullshit. You know, the wires, you know, all of this. You don't want any water to get in there, right? So you know what the solution is? Cover it. Okay, Einstein, man. Ha, I'm just kidding, man. Some some simple shit, man. It's, I'm just helping you guys out with a how-to video. Anyways, you take this bullshit. You're going to want to take a credit card, an active one, or an inactive one. It don't matter, you know. I'm not, I'm not trying to show you guys my numbers and shit, man. You know what I mean? Anyway, you take the credit card, and basically, you're going to want to prop this shit up on top of it right so you could cut it around here where you need to go around you know and then you're gonna make it like a picture frame I mean it you just go around here so it's gonna sit on the side here and it's gonna go all around and then right here don't worry about that we're gonna hit that later some plastic dip I mean right on top of the wires and some silicone sealer so, anyway, I already went ahead and did this shit, like I said before, because I'm cool like that. So, I slide this shit on with one hand. I'm good at sliding things in, man. You can ask your girlfriend. I'm good at sliding it in. I'm good at that shit. Anyways. <coughs> you see this bullshit? Perfect. I mean, first try. Look at this shit. Look at that, man. It's clean, right? Don't even lie, man. It's clean. That's what I'm talking about. Shit. Anyways, you guys can thank me for this. This is step one. Alright? Be careful when you're cutting the card, though. You know, actually, you might want to take a piece of paper and practice and then trace it. You don't want to fuck up your credit cards that you don't have many of. But as for me, I don't have to worry for that. You know what I mean? I got like 20 in the drawer. Maybe 30 that I don't even ever look at. Like my children. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. I don't have children. Anyway, you're going to want to cut that shit, you know? Maybe with one of these. You might cut it. This might do it. Alright? You go cut that shit. 
use a scissor if you need to, but I use the knife because I'm good with those things. Alright. The next step is to find something that will make a good solid base for your box. As you can see, I have a piece of styrene plastic over here and I use some Velcro to hold the ESC to this piece just in case I ever want to take it off, know what I mean? Just like your girlfriend's shirt. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, you see, I carved off the corner so it could fit in the chassis, matching corners like a professional. Next, you're going to want to build the sides up. You know, I got some glue for that shit. Solid ass epoxy for plastic shit. You know? never gonna come off and I'm thinking about making a sidewall over here less out you know so I can access the USB port even when this box is made I'm gonna put some electrical tape over that and then I'm gonna pull it off whenever I need to program it when I'm you know to prepare for a big race you know what I mean shit but the other parts are just gonna come out down like this and the big ass glob of glue here man and over here man and then after this box is done I'm gonna hit it with some plastic dip I bought the freaking you know the one in the can cause I don't wanna I don't trust that spray shit you know we're going all over the place you know into your heat sink making your heat sink unfunctionable you know motherfuckers I almost said fuck because you know I was thinking about fucking your girlfriend. I mean, anyway, you see, look, this looks mad good right now. Alright, get to it. Alright, I'm back. As you can see, I cut out little bits to fill up each little gap. That's the electrical tape to block the water from going into the USB port. You know, just in case I need to access it. Clear back. Heat sink exposed. Come on, man. There's a boss right there. Come on, look at that. The green and red, feeling like Christmas all over again. Know what I mean? Shit. Anyways, this is completely sealed tight. You know, next step is the silicone sealer. I bought the black one. I'll hit up all the cracks with that shit. And then the last step will be the plasti dip. You know? What up, what up, y'all? I've done the silicone layer, man, that shit's dirty as hell. My hands, I washed them for 30 minutes. Looked like some dirty ass motherfuckers, alright. They're still not clean, alright. Well, take a look. I filled up all the gaps. Those things are sealed now, man. They're sealed. They're set. No water is getting in there. And to make it even worse for the water trying to f penetrate my shit, guess what? Tomorrow, plasti dip. You know what I mean? I'm always insuring my shit. Plasti dip tomorrow. This thing's gonna be sealed like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? That shit sealed. Everything. Heat sink sealed. I mean, I've been fooling around here with the water and shit. I think it's sealed. Alright. Check in tomorrow. Good night. What up, what up, y'all? I'm back. I used the plasti dip to coat it. As you can see, it's kind of stuck for a second. Alright, 
Shit's fire. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. ESC hole for the USB port. Look at that shit. Flat bottom. Probably be using some double sided tape on that. Everything. Look at this. This is the tic tac container top. So damn crafty, you know what I mean? Heat sink completely sealed. Toothpick to get inside of the cracks. Everything. No water can get through there. Completely sealed. I mean, everything. Anyways, the other thing I used is this black silicone sealant. I used that before I used the plastic tip. Don't mind my cigar over there, right? I forgot to remove it from the, the scene. Alright, I don't know if you guys care about this shit. I don't know if you can see that. It's the XP SC200 speed controller. I waterproofed it too. I just popped it open and I plastic dipped it. I just went like whoop, right into the dip. And then I put the cover back on, which was a pain. I was pressing that shit so hard. Pressing it hard. Like on your girl. Shit. Anyways. This is beautiful. Never gonna be using it, but just to brag about. I know a lot of RC dudes that like to brag about shit. Hold up. I used this to glue together the credit cards and the Tic Tac container. The activator and the glue. You activate it first and then for one minute you let it sit. And then put this and hold it for 30 seconds. It's, it's, it's all good, man. Servo done. Speed controller done. We planning to do the transmitter too. So, I hope you guys enjoy and appreciate how I showed you guys how to waterproof your Mamba Max speed controller without voiding your warranty. Un unlike that guy, man. I saw his video man I was I was shaking my head SMH SMH man I think his name was Squirrel Lot or something like that shit he just dunk that shit he likes dunking all his shit man he probably dunks all the shit in there man you know probably dunking anything that fits in the bottle no dirty images please man anyways this is all for today see you guys next time from experienced RC